Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's tutorial we will talk about the service connector. So this is our third module. So we have already covered the how to create the process and process object. So process object is nothing but it is identifying your input and output of the process. So let's talk about the service connector. Service connector allow you to connect the third party service such as Thomas Bear service. So objective of this tutorial is we will create the new service connector. Then we will define the service connector input parameters. Define the service connector action and binding and test the service connector. So let's more or talk about in the demo session. Let me show you how we can create the service connector. Go to the service connector. There are many options like service connector using form, service connector from WSDL, from Swagger, Open API collection, Postman using form. So first we will see service connector using form. So click on create. So once you click on create, you can give the service connector name. Then in action, you can define the link and process object. So I have already created the service connector over these three R connectors, get owner info, get order info and get, get order sorry and get order info. So guys in tutorial we will exercise to obtain the customer and the order details such as customer name, order ID, order total. The process include creating a service connector creating a connection using service connector and then creating a process to obtain the desired output. So in this service connector, I took from the publicly which is available the REST web services and these services offer the five resources, products, vendors, categories, customers and orders. So our main objective is to uh, we will create the connector then input parameter then action and binding and we will test the connector. So if you want to examine the list of top level resources available in the web services you can enter this link I will uh, give these all the links into the description. So this is my link in the shop we do you can see uh, available uh, resources products, vendors, orders and customers and these are my source so you can see id 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 there are total 6 ids with name and link so what will happen here the updated url passes the customer id this id a response return the information about this ID with the customer ID number and the API respond with three fields like first name, last name and order URL this. Okay. Now let me show you my service connector. So get info if we click on get info. In action you can give the name of your service connector. Then this is by default option. Then input you can create one customer field here like one input field you can create like customer id type is text and then in binding so let me show you this four number is just the sample number that will be used to test the service connector and to specify the mode in which the data will be sent we will select the binding so here we have pasted our url method we have selected here gate then in output field we have created these three field which we want first name last name and the customer order url of the customer now we click on test result test on cloud server we will select and click on test So you can see test result is successfully. I will copy this URL. Let me paste in web browser. So you can see guys we got the first name and last name. If you check my source. What for? You can see the first name is 
Garrick and Barnett is last name. See? So you can click on response payload, raised request and raised response you can check here. So if you click on response payload, you can see here the output. Then this is the raised request details, customer ID value 4. And this is the details of the raised response. So basically, this response uh, this response payload display the response received from the service and remember you have entered the test with the value 4 the service has responded with the customer name and order URL of the customer with customer ID 4 and this if we talk about the raised request it display the data sent to the service from the process designer in the instant it was 4 you can see here and then raised response is display the data sent back to the process designer from the service so same way we will do for the gate order and gate order info so if you check my gate order i have created the service connector and uh, provided the order url then in binding i have provided url in output I have created one individual order URL and property I have given the order URL and I tested the result you can see 2520 now output is generated so if you see let me copy this you can see it is provided the metadata count is 0 start 1 and limit is 10 so if you practice this you will get the 2520 value in here individual order url it is not showing previously it was showing but don't know what happened here so it is showing now it will show here in your case if you try so same i did for the gate order info i have given the gate order info name then input I have created one order ID field in binding I have provided the link in output I have created the total field so it will give me the total count and test result so you can see I have already tested so it is successfully tested you can see the total and it is giving if you observe it will give the value 66 so the output value is in the image is subject to change the based on the live data which is available in the api so in this way you can create the service connectors so, now let's discuss about the interview question on the service connector so guys the first interview question is what is the service connector in informatica application integration which already discussed a service connector help connect the informatica with the external system or the services using apis that is raised or so it define how the data is sent to and received from these external services so second question or might be they will ask you if the service connector fails then how can you check or connect so you can give the answer, check if the endpoint URL and the credential are correct, look at the error logs in the Informatica monitor, then you can test the API using tools like Postman and ensure the request format matches what the external services expects. Then, then again they will ask you like how does a service connector handle the different authentication methods and how do you configure them. So you can give the answer basic authentication by configuring the username and password in the connection properties. Then opt connection, set up the client credentials and token retrieval URLs. Then API keys, we can pass the key via header or query parameters. So these all the settings are configured in the authentication section of the connection property. So this is all about today's module guys. We learn in today's module, we learn the service connector, how to create service connector and what is the use of service connector. 
so if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video uh, keep learning and growing thank you